Matthew 4 verse 4 is a pivotal verse in the New Testament, situated within the narrative of Jesus' temptation in the wilderness. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. To fully grasp the significance of this statement, it's essential to understand the context in which it was spoken. After his baptism, Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. During this time, he faced intense physical hunger, and it was at this moment of vulnerability that Satan approached him with a series of temptations. The first temptation Satan presented was a challenge to turn stones into bread, appealing directly to Jesus' physical need. Jesus' response to this temptation, quoted from Deuteronomy 8 verse 3, reveals a profound truth about the source of true sustenance and the nature of spiritual strength. The Nature of Temptation The temptation that Jesus faced in the wilderness was not merely about satisfying physical hunger, it was a deeper test of his reliance on God. Satan's suggestion to turn stones into bread was an attempt to entice Jesus to use his divine power to meet his own needs, independent of the Father's will. This temptation speaks to a broader human experience, the temptation to prioritize physical and immediate needs over spiritual dependence on God. In our lives, we often face similar temptations. We are tempted to prioritize material wealth, comfort, or personal desires over our spiritual well-being. Satan's tactic is to make us believe that satisfying our physical or emotional needs is of utmost importance, leading us to neglect the deeper need for spiritual nourishment. Jesus' response, however, redirects our focus from the physical to the spiritual, reminding us that true life is sustained not by material things but by the Word of God. The Importance of God's Word Jesus' declaration that man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God, emphasizes the vital role that Scripture plays in sustaining our spiritual life. Just as our bodies require physical food to survive, our souls require the nourishment that comes from God's Word. This comparison highlights the insufficiency of relying solely on material resources for a fulfilled life. The Word of God is not just information, it is life-giving. It provides guidance, wisdom, comfort, and strength. In Deuteronomy 8 verse 3, the original context of the verse Jesus quoted, God reminded the Israelites that he allowed them to hunger in the wilderness, so that they would learn to depend on him and recognize that life is sustained by his word. In the same way, Jesus used this scripture to affirm his complete reliance on the Father, even in the face of extreme physical need. For believers, this verse serves as a reminder of the importance of immersing ourselves in God's word. It is through scripture that we come to know God, understand his will, and receive the strength to resist temptation and navigate life's challenges. Without regular engagement with the Bible, we risk spiritual malnourishment, leaving ourselves vulnerable to the lies and deceptions that seek to draw us away from God. The Example of Jesus Jesus' response to temptation is a model for us to follow. In the wilderness, he faced real and significant challenges, yet he did not yield to the pressure to act independently of God. Instead, he turned to scripture, demonstrating his deep trust in the Father's provision and his commitment to obedience. This reliance on God's word is crucial for us as we face our own temptations and trials. When we are tempted to take shortcuts, to satisfy our immediate desires at the expense of our spiritual health, or to doubt God's goodness in difficult times, we can follow Jesus' example by turning to scripture for truth and guidance. Jesus showed that victory over temptation is possible when we ground ourselves in God's word and trust in his provision. Jesus' use of scripture in this moment highlights the power of God's word in spiritual warfare. The Bible is described in Ephesians 6 verse 17 as the sword of the spirit, an essential piece of the armor of God. 
By quoting scripture, Jesus effectively countered Satan's lies and attacks, setting a precedent for how we should engage in spiritual battles. The Word of God is our defense against the enemy's schemes, and it is through knowing and applying scripture that we can stand firm in our faith. Living by every word to live by every word that comes from the mouth of God is to live a life of obedience and dependence on Him. This means allowing God's word to shape our decisions, our actions, and our understanding of the world around us. It requires more than just reading the Bible, it involves internalizing its truths and allowing them to transform our lives. In a world that often prioritizes self-reliance and material success, living by God's word may seem countercultural. Yet, it is the path to true life. The nourishment that comes from scripture equips us to face life's challenges with faith and perseverance. It reminds us of God's promises and his faithfulness, even in the midst of trials. This verse also challenges us to evaluate what we are feeding our souls. Are we nourishing ourselves with the Word of God, or are we relying on the temporary and unsatisfying sustenance the world offers? Just as physical hunger can drive us to seek food, spiritual hunger should drive us to seek God's Word, where we find the sustenance that truly satisfies. Matthew 4 verse 4 is a profound reminder of the essential role that God's Word plays in our lives. Jesus' response to Satan's temptation reveals the priority of spiritual nourishment over physical needs and sets an example for how we should respond to the challenges and temptations we face. By living according to every word that comes from the mouth of God, we find true life, strength, and the ability to stand firm in our faith. This verse calls us to a deeper reliance on God and a commitment to let his word guide and sustain us in all circumstances. Amen.